Hello. So as today is St. Patrick's Day, I've decided to uh, commemorate that by blind tasting three Irish whiskies. The first is a special edition single cask Teeling 14 year old, uh, bottled at 56.4%. The second is a uh, green spot Chateau Le Ville Baton, which is uh, finished in Bordeaux wine casks, that's at 46%. And the last one is what's seen as the pinnacle of Irish single pot still whiskey, and that's the Redbreast 21, which is also uh, bottled at 46% and is aged in uh, ex-bourbon and Oloroso sherry casks. So, these three whiskies have been provided by a friend of mine, Kieran, from the London Whiskey Club, and um, I feel quite privileged to be able to try them. So um, I'm going to get my wife to pour them blind so I can't see them, and then we'll see what they taste like. Onto the whiskey. Right, so my wife has poured all three whiskies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to nose each of them, taste each of them, and work out which is my favourite. And then once I've worked out which is my favourite, I'm going to have a stab at which is which. The colour's a little different. <laughs> One of them I, I think I can probably guess already, um, but um, we'll see how it goes because you never know. So, on to the first one. Right, so this one instantly has massive sherry nose. It just packs a punch. Lots of dark fruits. It smells like Christmas. It even smells like it's got lots of lots of rich uh, body to it uh, you know you, you can almost smell how rich and clingy the mouthfeel will be even before you've tasted it that smells like a good whiskey on to the next one right Instantly, this one reminds me of fish and chips or scampi and lemon. It's really unusual. There is a very heavy citrus uh, coming out of this, but not 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 sh not too sharp. I can smell there's hints of pepper. That's much fresher, much, much lighter, but still has almost like a tang on the nose. On to the last one. So, right, so this one, this one has, has a really sort of honeyed, honeyed sort of sweetness. It's like a honey sweet syrupy treacle with a hint of sherry. Such a lovely sweet smell. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is see how they taste. Right, so that one it's quite light on the on the palate to start with. It's um, it doesn't bring any strong flavours immediately. Um, it then follows through with this uh, rich, uh, nice dark fruits and and uh, brown sugar sweetness. Uh, and then as it evaporates, there's this strong, warm peppery build. Uh, and quite a medium finish, I'd say. 
Um, I'm inclined to think this is the red breast. Being a, a traditional single pot still whiskey, this is made of uh, malted and unmalted barley, and I'm certain I can I'm certain I can taste that if that that is the red breast. I'm sure that's what I can taste. I think it's a whiskey that possibly could do with a few drops of water, but it's got a nice, uh, nice mouth feel. It's not too clingy on on the palate, and um, even though it's a little oily, uh, it goes down really well. I'll have some water and then try the next one. So, on to the middle one. Yeah, that, that scampi and lemon. I'm really picking that up, it's really weird. Right, so this one, this one has quite a light uh, citrus and floral uh, taste to it. Uh, it's very light on the palate, but as soon as it evaporates, you get that nice warming uh, build. If this is the uh, teeling at 56%, uh, it, it definitely doesn't taste like it. Uh, that alcohol burn at the end is, is quite light. And um, yeah, it's, um, it's quite an easy whiskey. Uh, not too complex. Let's go for another go. Okay, on the um, on the second go, it's um, it's got some caramel, it's got some biscuit, it's got some honey, it's got a hint of watermelon, and that alcohol and that pepperiness uh, builds. Uh, the um, the intensity stays on the palate for longer. It's not harsh. It's quite quite mellow but that, that that finish is much longer after the second sip I'm pretty pretty certain that one is is going to be the teeling okay have some water and then on to the last oh, so sweet the, the sweetness is exceptional on this it seems quite quite a light liquid but when you put it in your mouth it's quite viscous quite oily but as soon as you swallow it's so much lighter and uh, the, the you know the character of the, the liquid changes completely um, I really do like that sweetness uh, if this is the green spot which I'm tempted to think it is. It's um, it's a very nice whiskey indeed. There's no real alcohol burn. It's quite a short finish. This one. Um, it does it does cling to the palate a bit. Um, it's got a really nice uh, mouthfeel. Uh, it's. It's a, a whiskey that has that quintessential Irish sweetness, but yet it's so easy to drink at 46%. Um, I'm sure that's the green spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in order of preference. I'm going to guess them because I'm pretty certain which is which, although I may be wrong. So in order of preference, I think it's this one first because this one has such a rich and heavy texture to it uh, that 
you know, that bold sherry uh, nose uh, and that sherry sweetness on the palate. That's my favourite. This is my second favourite. I love the sweetness of it. Uh, and I love the fact that there's no alcohol burn. I could just keep drinking that all night. And although this one is not a bad whiskey, this comes third. So first, second and third. And I think red breast, green spot, teething. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, that's the red breast. Don't know if you can see that. One out of three. So I thought this was the teeling. Yeah, that's the teeling. So that's two out of three. So that means this is the green spot. Yep, just double check. So that makes three out of three. I think this was probably the most widest selection I could probably choose uh, for a blind tasting, so maybe it was a bit more easy to guess than my other blind tastings, but they're such nice whiskies, and I think, including the teeling, they are all still available. Um, obviously the red breast is uh, quite expensive, but if your budget can stretch to it, uh, it's definitely worth a worth a go. So I'll sign off with the with the red breast, which was my favourite. It's launcher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.